Can you brief, briefly introduce yourself and your company, please? So I'm Sue Barr. I'm the external affairs manager for a company called Open Hydro, and we've developed the Open Centre Turbine. Okay, and um, can you give us a bit more information about your technology and why it's unique? Yeah, so we've developed a technology called the Open Centre Turbine. It's a bi-directional um, permanent magnet ring generator turbine, which means that it turns in both states of the tide, both the ebb and the flood, so we can generate on both stages of the tide. It's a very simple design, so it's designed from first principles for the marine environment. Um, it has only one moving part, which is the main rotor, um, and it's very simple in terms of its construction, the moving parts, and there are no, lo no oils or lubricants. Okay, and which... What sort of stage of development is the turbine at? Are you looking at implementing a raise? Yeah, so we've had technology on test in the European Marine Energy Centre for about seven years now. And what that's allowed us to do is build the turbine from a six metre scale up to a 12 and 16 metre scale. And we're looking at a turbine that's rated at 2.2 megawatts. We've deployed one 16 metre turbine off of France in a site called Pample Brea. That turbine has now been recovered and we're looking to deploy more turbines in a ray formation in the coming years. And um, what sort of sizes would you be looking at for an array? Um, for a, for a so we've got a number of development projects in the pipeline at the moment. The first is a 100 megawatt array off the coast of Antrim in Northern Ireland. That's Tidal, that's tidal Ventures. We then have a project in, in um, the north coast of Scotland off South Walls with SSE Renewables, which is called Brims Tidal, and that's a 200 megawatt array. And more recently, we've just announced a 300 megawatt array in development in Alderney in the Channel Islands. Sorry, how many units would be involved in that? It depends on the tidal flows. So if you think about a 100 megawatt um, array, then if we are looking at a 2 megawatt rated turbine, you're looking at 50 turbines. So there are high numbers of turbines in, in the site. Okay, and um, what, what is the overall cost, do you think, um, for array implementation? And you know, how, how long before it's fully implemented? So at the moment, we're looking at a cost reduction that you get from at volume production. And we estimate that we'll be competitive with offshore wind in the near future. So we're hoping by 2017, 2018, we'll be able to produce turbines that are cost competitive with offshore wind. And what have you found um, are the main challenges working towards array configurations? Um, for instance, is it investment or more testing or project sites? So there's a number of key challenges. I suppose the main would be getting investment into the sector, maintaining a market mechanism, so looking at revenue streams, and also ensuring things like the grid infrastructure are going to be in place in time. We feel that we have sufficient sites and that we've got good sites for testing turbines, but what we really need are those larger arrays to prove that you can generate electricity with a number of turbines in a system. And um, with your current systems, is there any area where you found that the initial expenditures more costly, a lot more costly than the rest? For instance, turbines or foundations? Um, and if so, how are you trying to reduce these costs? So in, in the very early stages of our development, we actually deployed turbines on a twin-piled platform. That proved to be incredibly expensive. It was nearly 80% of the, the installation cost of that turbine. So what we've looked at is a mechanism for deploying turbines using our own modular barge and a high-level gravity-based foundation. So it allows us to access the site quickly and with a vessel that's available to us at all times. That's been a real major cost reduction from us. But then there's also looking at more infrastructure in terms of the grid, which will become um, a major cost in terms of grid underwriting liabilities and the cost of projects. And so um, with that method um, of implementation, are operation and maintenance costs reduced? And how, how big a consideration are ONM costs? How do they compare with the initial investment? So if you think about the, um, the environment within which you're deploying tidal turbines, it's a highly dynamic environment with a very small window of opportunity to access sites, to retrieve your machines, to work with your machines and to install them. So actually having an installation mechanism that works specifically for our turbine has helped reduce costs in a real significant way. And uh, lastly, what was your motivation for coming along to the event today? So we
we feel that um, All Energy is a really important event for us in terms of recruitment and in terms of meeting suppliers and also in st understanding how other companies are, are generating and moving their business forward. So um, it's a real key event for us in terms of getting in touch with people and finding out what's going on in the industry. Great, thank you very much.